Hey, thanks for joining. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to configure 8.1x between our Meraki MR and ClearPass. Let us prepare you to own, protect, and master your network. Net prepare. So first thing we need to enable SSID. Second, let's call it net prepare corp. Second, let's call it net prepare corp. And you know what? Um, let's keep it all lowercase. Just uh, so let prepare corp and let's do save changes and let's go inside the SSID. Okay, so the SSID is hidden here. We went over those in the Meraki training, but like uh, this video is gonna cover how we're gonna configure it with enterprise mode with my radio server, not local auth or Meraki cloud authentication. We're gonna do uh, WPA2 only, no splash page, and here is the radius configuration. So I'm gonna get out my ClearPass public IP. As I said uh, in the previous videos, this is a lab, that's why we have public IPs. So here, what are the attributes we're going to allow from the radius, um, the specific radius attribute? So you could apply uh, a rule by user role or whatever. I, I'm going to use the filter ID because like it basically allow you to do anything you want. And the filter ID is essentially is under network wide, uh, the group policy. Uh, let me save first. For now, let's do just save and group policy. So let's get one called net prepare corp. Let's just do that with the ID. And all I'm gonna do is customize my one rule and allow any. Okay, so this is gonna be for net prepare corp. And everything else I'm gonna keep the same. And let's create another one. And that this is with this one. Let's just uh, ignore uh, deny internal access. Okay. All right. So this is basically all that you need to configure on the Meraki. Now let's go back to. So this is the policy that we configured for the MX. I'm gonna keep I'm keep using this one. If you wanna check how we created this policy, it's quite easy, but uh, you could check the previous video. All I wanna do is edit, edit this uh, enforcement policy. Yeah, just do do ignore uh, case sensitive because I actually haven't created that. And here, let's just do allow access for now. All right, so let's try to authenticate. I don't recommend using that for um, using EP for authentication for the corporate. But like for now, just this is allowed, and we are connected. So you see, we went into the default policy. What we need to update is we need to uh, update those uh, profiles. Okay. So the default policy, what I want to do it is to put the user in guest and for the, the corp user to be actually placed in um, the corporate one, right? So what we need under posture, sorry, under enforcement and and the better way of doing it is maybe keeping this as it is, create the restriction on the Meraki. Okay, it's actually by default. So let me try to ping the local network okay i cannot ping internally but i could ping the internet that's perfect let me update that to use the administrator for this user Perfect. All right, so we fixed this uh, here on the 
enforcement and it's allowed access but we need to update the enforcement profile all right so enforcement profiles okay um, so we use the default one so let's create a new one so like here you could specify whatever you want uh, filter but i think this one filter id let's see the attribute what it perfect this is actually it's a an ietf uh, attribute this filter id and here you specify the filter id that you want to send and what i'm gonna name it is meraki and then let's copy it exactly from here and the attribute is just the meraki core and let's save now we go under enforcement and we change the allow access one and we're gonna add the meraki the radius meraki core okay let's save authenticating we got the ip address and we're on the network so and you see the enforcement is Meraki Corp. And you see we sent this filter ID to Meraki. Now let's go on the let's check the group policies. It takes some time here to update. It's not that fast. But under the device itself, let's see if we could ping internally. And we're able to ping internally. This is because ah, and we could see if the client is actually showing. Alright guys, so we've shown how we can configure a uh, clear pass with Meraki. Please like and subscribe, that will be really helpful. Click the notification button if you're interested in the material. Let us prepare you to own, protect and master your network. Net prepare.